I wanted to share a painting I did in 1988 called The Watchers because it began this story that has become the watcher language which the hieroglyph of the human soul is written in and this relationship to what are the watchers which led me on a quest back to actually the book of Enoch and other ancient texts to talk about what the watchers were in history or mythology and that they were the quality that transforms whatever we project into them becomes our reality. So if we are malevolent, they faithfully create a malevolent reality because this is what we are projecting into it. Now with that question of where the energy itself is neither good or bad, but becomes what we make it, always fascinated me because that's a lot to do with our own psyches, our own life, about what do we pay attention to. So the watchers have become essentially a mentor and a guide, meaning that the question of identity beyond personality, where the energies start to tell us, and I think this image is very important because at the bottom, down below, we see this very compressed region, like a type of hellscape. And why is it a type of hellscape? Because the people within it feel crushed. They feel like they are suffocating, like they cannot escape, they cannot breathe. And this is, to a great degree, the churning of those things that cultivate fear within the individual. The fear of the unknown, the fear of no release, the fear that this might be permanent. What do we do? And so the question in my painting, because my painting's always been the way I've asked questions. I don't simply want to have an opinion about something. I can believe this or not believe this, but what's good about a painting is it has nothing to do with belief and everything to do with inquiry. And so why this became important was I had finished a series that I thought was very insightful, got into a very deep relationship to a lot of the stories inside of ourselves. But I was very interested in that shadow land that borderland, where things don't add up in a type of black or white, but contain a type of gray, wherein we are forced to ask the questions that let us navigate these realms. And so this was my first question. And from this first question of the watchers, they then became more and more present within all of my work as a type of energy. And that's why we can see the figure, the hooded figure, and the, then the large figure looking off, almost ghoulish, meaning that, and it's seeing in the robes a hidden face. So the question for me was, what are the things that at once might make us uncertain, even a little frightened? But as we enter into the story, we lose our fear, and we start to realize that many of the things we don't understand are actually waiting for us to look not away, but to look at. So this is looking at the watchers. Thank you, I'm Lee McCloskey.